I have seen a measurable outcome when one person tells uh, somebody else their recovery story. Um, I have seen people uh, talk about this crisis and talk about this issue for a very long time uh, with data and science and that the message just hasn't cut through. But when one person talks to another person and that person realizes that they actually know someone who's either in recovery or is suffering and has a problem and there's that human connection, their opinion on who we are or who we might be or what type of uh, care we deserve changes instantaneously. Um, it is very, very similar. The parallels are incredibly similar to where we were in the early 90s um, with AIDS, um, with the LGBT uh, community. Um, you saw a massive movement of people coming out um, to tell their stories and identify. And in very short time, you saw uh, massive amounts of money going towards AIDS research. You saw massive amounts of money going towards uh, philanthropy and healthcare for AIDS organizations. Um, you know, and, and it really was the, the catalyst for, you know, in, in 2013, we, you know, the Supreme Court ruled um, gay marriage uh, is the law of the land. Uh, you know, 76 to, to 80 percent of Americans today in 2018 believe that it should stay. Um, that is a far cry from where we were even 10 years ago in this country. The reason is, is because people came out and they were, they were, they were um, prideful in who they were. So the Voices Project uh, on social media that I, that I started um, was with that in mind and that movement in mind. Um, and it was to give people the opportunity to tell their stories, the opportunity to talk about, you know, what it looked like for them um, when they were addicted, but more importantly, what it looks like for them today in recovery. <laughs>